Latin meter has an interesting history, especially because when we are discussing Latin meter, we are actually discussing Greek meter, which essentially replaced all native Latin meters early on in the development of Latin literature. The Romans did have their own meters, the most famous of which is the Saturnian. Unfortunately, it is obscured by the mists of time, but subject to much speculation by scholars. Very early on, however, Greek meters entered Latin poetry. The poet Quintus Ennius, who lived in the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC and was considered one of the founding figures of Latin poetry, looked to Greek sources for influence. One of those influences was Greek meter. His major poem, the Annales, covered Roman history from the Trojan War to Ennius's own time. It sadly exists only in fragmentary form. This is a great loss for the study of Latin literature given Aeneas's enormous influence on later Roman authors. Later poets like Catullus and his contemporaries brought in many more Greek meters as well. I mention this history because it is actually the key to understanding why Latin meter is bizarre. There is one more important concept that is needed for understanding Latin meter. This concept relates to the types of accents given to words. English uses a clear stress accent, that is, emphasis is given to certain syllables in a word via a higher volume. For example, we say window, not window. Latin too had a stress accent, fuck it, not fuck it. But ancient Greek used a different kind of accent. Instead of a stress accent, it used a pitch accent. The pitch of the voice changed on certain syllables rather than the volume. For example, the Greek word gala was not pronounced gala, but rather gala. Given that ancient Greek had no real stress accent, it makes sense that Greek's meters would not depend on stress, but rather on something else, specifically syllable length. Thus, Latin adopted poetic meters suited to a different language and plugged into it their own words. English, a language with a stress-based accent, has stress-based meters, like iambic pentameter. Latin, also a stress-based language, has quantity-based meters. These meters had their own natural accents, which sometimes conflicted with the natural stress-based accents of the words. The poets had to keep this in mind when writing.